Good morning. How many of the slain of all the earth shall fall at Babylon? Our reading is from Jeremiah 51, verses 49 to 53. And if you stay by just a moment after this, I'll tell you why this is an interesting day for me. But let's read. As Babylon has caused the slain of Israel to fall, so at Babylon the slain of all the earth shall fall. You who have escaped the sword, get away. Do not stand still. Remember the Lord afar off and let Jerusalem come to your mind. We are ashamed because we have heard reproach. Shame has covered our faces, for strangers have come into the sanctuaries of the Lord's house. Therefore, behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, that I will bring judgment on her carved images, and throughout all her land the wounded shall groan. Though Babylon were to mount up to heaven, and though she were to fortify the height of her strength, yet from me plunderers would come to her, says the Lord. There's a contrast in this text. Babylon slew many in Israel, but it also tells us, So at Babylon the slain of all the earth shall fall. That is, those who side with self-service, with coercion, with covetousness, they will ultimately face judgment. All that will be ended, and Jesus will make men and women free again. And we read here, strangers have come into the sanctuaries of the Lord's house. Why? Because God's people's behavior was self-destructive. And so God put a severe chastening on his people. They interrupted God's preferred and best will for them. And so now they're on this kind of extended educational process, uh, which includes some hard places. They're learning where self-service goes and what it gets you. And so all creation is engaged in, I guess we could say, a kind of great controversy. One moral set uh, of things versus a totally different moral set of things. Two opposite paradigms for ordering the world. Two opposite paradigms for what is and is not moral. God didn't start it, but he's going to finish it. Good will be demonstrated by actual facts to be good, and evil will be demonstrated by actual facts to be actually and truly evil. Another way to say this is that there is a massive and final reckoning coming. It's just the way it is. But the God who loves us, whose hands were nailed to the cross for us, he's in charge. So we can think about that. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, we thank you that you are finishing the great controversy. We thank you that good will triumph over evil, not just in the movies, not just in the flicks, but Lord, in reality. We thank you that those that have died believing and trusting in Jesus will be resurrected to eternal life. Oh Lord, we want to be there. We want our loved ones to be there. Use us, Lord. Help us to, to be useful to you. Help us to be uh, eyes open and aware as we live in a time of quite strong insanity. Oh, bless us. Guide us home, Lord. We thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. So, all accounts will be settled with Babylon, and her end will actually be a good thing, because those that have chosen God's ways will have all those good pieces for eternity. God be with you today. Oh, I said that if you stayed by, I had something else for you. Today marks the one-year uh, YouTube anniversary, I guess you could say, uh, for me. And uh, you can see, compared to what I did on the, a year ago, we've, we've made some improvements. We're still learning, but we made some improvements on how we're doing these devotionals. So I hope these have been a benefit to you. I hope you find them to be spiritually uplifting and encouraging and sometimes maybe even a little bit provocative. And so we're just sorting out where we've been this past year and where we might go in the new year. So I'm going to do something in this moment I've never done before. Uh, if you, you know, cameras and lenses and gear can be kind of expensive. If, uh, if you've received a spiritual benefit from these and you want to continue to see me work on this kind of material, you could send me some financial help if that works out for you. Uh, I'm at P.O. Box 214 Twin Lake. Michigan 49457. But if you don't send anything, that's okay. I still pray for you and I want good things for you. So welcome to starting tomorrow, I guess, year two.